and seeing the worst rated pet store around us. And we're gonna go check it out and get a fish from there. I think I know why this place is rated two stars for fish keeping. If we don't hurry home, these fish will die because they have no oxygen in this water. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're in the tank room right here. And uh, today, we're gonna, we're gonna be delving into Yelp right now and seeing the worst rated pet store around us. And we're gonna go check it out and get a fish from there, okay? So we're gonna, you know, delve into Yelp. I'm on Yelp right now, okay? I typed in whatever pet store, fish store, I typed in. So we're gonna look, and right off the bat, I already see a pretty bad one. Pet supermarket with two stars, okay? Look at this. Two stars for that one. Not looking hot, okay? So everything else, pretty decent. Every other one that's like not a major brand, Pet store, five star, four star. You guys already know Barrier Reef, that's our store. What do you know, five out of five stars, the best. They're the best. So if you guys are ever in the area, go to Barrier Reef, Boca Raton, Florida, and let them know that Barb's Buzz and Set You. It's just cool, uh, you know, they'll, they'll love it. If you guys say Barb's Buzz and Set You to Barrier Reef, they'll absolutely love it. So, they're the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's get the show on the road. Pet supermarket it is, two stars out of five, Whew, that's rough, that's rough, that's rough for the business. So let's wrap this up, go to the store, and uh, let's go see if they got any cool fish. All right guys, we are at Pet Supermarket. As you can see in the background, it just happens to be the one that we shop at a lot. Two stars for this one, it's pretty insane. So uh, let's go check it out, let's see what's in there. All right, you guys, we're here at the tanks at Pet Supermarket, and to be honest with you guys, I don't know why this this store is rated with two stars for the fish. The fish here look, honestly, they look pretty happy. They got good current here. The water's not green. There's nothing, I haven't seen any fish with egg. No fish that have looked sick at all, but we are, what we are thinking about getting are these these glass catfish right back there. They're see-through. You can see the whole, the whole internals, the insides of these fish. Like, they honestly look like arowanas if I were to zoom in on them. See how they have the things hanging off? in the front coming out. Arowanas have those too. They look like arowanas. These things only get two inches. We did a little bit of research on them and uh, they are really cool. They're in here with a bunch of other fish and uh, yeah, we're gonna get these guys. I think we might get one or two. They're only $7.99 so we might get two. But these things would be really cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, these, all these fish look really happy here. I mean, I haven't seen a single fish dead in the filter or anything. They seem to take good care of them. So I think we're gonna bag up those two fish right there and uh, then head home, put them in their new tank, and uh, we usually when we do freshwater fish, we try to go for the predators, and uh, the community style ones are really cool. They have like this little puffer right here. We wanted to get one of these puffers really, really badly, but they, uh, they need a little bit of brackish water, so that means they need some salt and some fresh, and we only have, we don't have any bra uh, brackish tanks, so we can't be getting one of those, but the community style fish are actually really dope. Yeah, we're, Chris thinks these guys are really yeah, cool, so. Know, everything looks pretty healthy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't see any dead fish or anything. So we're going to back those two guys up, like I said, and uh, we'll head home. First of all, I think I know why this place is rated two stars for fish keeping. What? <laughs> this, this bag is completely water. I've never seen someone bag like this. No O2 hose or nothing. This, if we don't hurry home, these fish will die because they have no oxygen in this water whatsoever. But, not mentioning that, there's Jack dancing, but... Somebody was jamming when they were... Not to mention, besides that, if you look at these things, these things are absolutely nuts. Like these things are insane looking. So, they will... St Yay! These things are pretty much full grown, so... Let's get them back to the house. Before we put them in, they are right here. And, uh, you can't even see them because they're literally see-through in this bag but you guys will get a good look at them once they're in the tank but just want to give you guys a quick rundown you guys have been asking about the baby flower horn the baby flower horn was literally as big as a literal dime it was not hardy at all it was super small we did everything we could to get it to eat and everything it just wouldn't eat at all it just passed away and died so don't let that discourage you guys sadly he's not in the tank Quick rundown of the tanks again. This one is where those guys are going. That Jack's put them in the bucket right now. And uh, we got our beta fish in here. We got our two clawed frogs right on top of each other for some reason. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. But I gotta show you, we're gonna do a feeding video with these guys very soon. They eat like crazy. And they actually, they eat pellets, Jack. Did you see, did you see? Dude, they grub on the pellets. The frogs? Put one in there. Are you serious? Yes, dude. 
The frogs grew up on the pellets hard. And then on the tank over to the right, we got our fish, our beta fish, our original beta fish, Aries, that we will never get rid of. And I put a little shrimp in there with him too. So uh, he's doing great. But watch these frogs. Are you serious? They eat it? If it sinks. It doesn't sink. Oh, well, they ate it yesterday. Off the surface? Yes. Oh, the beta fish is on it. That's a big pellet for you, buddy. Yeah, it is. Well, we'll come back to him. If, he, if he's going after it, I'll show you guys. But he's, uh, it takes him a long time to find food because they, he just can't see anything. <laughs> Completely <laughs> blind. So all I know is he ate multiple, pe multiple pellets yesterday. So we'll see what he does right now. But first, let's get these guys in here. Look at them from up top. Oh my God, they look like Lightning. literally snakes. Look at them. Those things, ugh, they look like spiders. They look like arowanas, bro. They literally look like arowanas, dude. Like a freaking micro arowana. Micro arowana. That looks like a tiny baby arowana, bro. So dope. Those things are sick. Dude, all right, let's put them in. Let's get these guys let's in this got, tank. Right. Oh yeah, we gotta acclimate first. Can't forget about that. So once these guys are ready to acclimate, we'll put them in their new tank. These things are completely done acclimating. Now we're gonna get them in their new tank. And these things are gonna look wild in there. I can't wait to feed them for you guys and show them. Look at them, look how small they are in there, guys. It's so crazy. Max growth right there. That's as big as they're gonna get. They're gonna look great in there. It's gonna be awesome. Am I touching this thing? These these things? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Think, I don't think I can touch that thing. Why, dude? The dough. I'll touch it. I don't them. think I can hold it. I feel like I'll just kill it. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Got our little net. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's get these guys in their tank right now. Shout, right. out to, shout out to Daryl if you're watching this video. What's up, Daryl? Sick, dude. All right, sick. Sick, 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 Daryl. Sick. Sick, All right, Daryl. Let's go. Put the net up. Here we go, buddy. Who's going first? That's the big boy. That's the big boy. Yes, we did, manager Brooke. Okay, Buddy's home. Oh my god, I'm not gonna show you guys until we get the other guy in. Let's get the other guy in first. This guy's tiny. He's out. Oh my god, they look so cool. wild in here. They look wild in here. Oh my god, those things are sick. Okay, guys, let's roll a quick montage so you guys can enjoy these amazing invisible fish. All right, guys, by the way, we put a pellet in there and that fish already ate it. We, we put, put another one in. See if he would, we can get it on camera because he gets it like he's dope. out of nowhere. He'll get it. Oh, here it comes. He's gonna he's gonna swing around. He's gonna swing around right into their face, right into their face. It's right on his leg. It's right on his but leg. But yeah, they're blind. Yeah, they're so blind. But oh, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. No, behind you. Oh my god. No. No. Pellet. Yeah, guys, it's almost impossible to video these guys eating because. You never know when they're gonna grab it. It could take hours, okay? So, they're looking good, and I am excited that we have these guys in here. They look amazing. Maybe we can get some shrimp for this tank, this little translucent ghost shrimp for this tank, so it's a huge theme, invisible theme tank. That's a cool idea. All right, guys, we are gonna try to feed these guys now. I have, you know, made some beautiful, delicious brine shrimp right here. We checked it out on the internet, and it says, these guys like meaty foods like tilapia, which is perfect because we always feed our fish tilapia and brine shrimp. So let's see if these guys even want to eat right now. That's a lot. <laughs> let's see if they smell it or something. They start. Oh, oh my God. Do they grow up? They grow up. They grow up. They grow up. Yeah, come on, buddy. Don't be camera shy. I wonder if you like see the food in their stomach. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Maybe they can't see it. They're freaking out now, that's for sure. All right, well, these guys, you know, they're new, and they're probably- They ate, I saw him eat. They, saw, they ate? Oh, okay, they did eat. Okay, cool, good job. I couldn't really see very well, because so I was looking through the camera. Let's give Aries some of these. And that little shrimp in there, like, loves meaty foods, too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crushes it, dude. Crushes it. Where's that little shrimp? He's about to come out of nowhere, huh? He's grubbing hard. Aries knows how to eat, man. Now there's the shrimp in the back. Back corner there. I love that guy. And we will finally see our frogs get stirred up just a little bit over here. Put a little uh, brine shrimp in there and they're gonna go nuts. 
get it, get it, get it, buddy. Yeah, you got it. All right, so yeah, all three tanks eating perfect. So overall consensus is that Pet Supermarket, they have great fish. We think that their selection is awesome and everything. We didn't see a single dead fish or any fish that ick or just looked beat up or anything. But the number one thing really was the bag, I guess, that we could see firsthand with nothing, knowing nothing about the water quality or anything was that their bags, when they gave us the fish, there was no oxygen in it at all. But our guys made it home safely and uh, come check them out really quick before we sign off. They look dope, look like baby arowanas, and if you guys like them, leave a like on this video. If you guys like the idea of shopping at different types of places, let us know down in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.